Running in that thing like a crab down. Running in the city shape with it. Bring it back from shop. What's up, guys? It's Pete. Had a trip from Motorfronts.com. Glad you guys are doing great. And, um, you know, we're just trying to do what we can here in New Jersey. Um, with Sandy hitting and stuff like that, it's been a little bit crazier than the normal. I mean, thank God I have power here and stuff like that. And I know there's a lot of people down south or even out in Staten Island, upper part of New York, that lost everything. And I just want to, you know, I definitely want to say, um, uh, I don't know what to say. You know, just hopefully you're okay. <clears throat> everything, you know, is going to rebuild itself and just stay in high spirits because, you know, everyone's here trying to help you guys and just keep your, your hopes up because. <clears throat> Keep thinking that negative spiral, man, it's going to go down. So definitely keep your head up, and things are definitely going to get better. Um, with that said, I'm going to move into another thing. Is uh, People have been emailing me a lot of questions. So I'm going to cover questions pretty much throughout the week, and uh, hopefully this information comes back to you. One question was, <clears throat> uh, during the Spartan races, he sees a lot of people starting and lining up in the front, really fighting for that front uh, that front line. Now, is lining up in the front line going to help him with his time um, in his run? Now, here's the main question, is that how fast are you really? You know, realistically, do you think you could lead from the front? What I always tell people is that when they line up, you always want to, before the race is in your heat, look for, look for people that are going, that you think, like, have the same speed as you do, meaning you think you're probably going to pace with them better. You really don't want to go into the front if you don't, if you know for a fact that you're not that fast. Um, not only that, but you really don't want to start that fast either. You really want to conserve your, your speed, a nice, nice pace in the beginning, so you can crush it towards the middle and especially towards the end. A lot of people I see is they start in the front and they're leading from the front for the first 10, 15 minutes, and then they're burnt out and cramping by the time you know mile three hits. So you definitely don't want to do that if you're not ready for it. So definitely find people that you think you could pace with or at least have that same type of speed. It's kind of judgmental to say, but it's one of the best things to do. Not only that, it, it also shows respect for the bigger runners. If they're fast and you, they know that they're going to move through it, those guys are, are in the front for a reason because they know that they could move fast. And you know you really don't want to step into the way of that. Um, it just shows respect for those guys. Also. If you line up in front and you don't stand up, you're either going to get stepped on or just trampled over, and or just really your your ego is going to drop because you're you just got passed by a lot of people, even though you're with them for the first five minutes. So my suggestion to you is definitely find people that looks like they're as fast as you, or if not, if or stay with your group. If you know you're you're at that pace and been training at that pace with those people. Stay with them the entire time. Don't try to kill it. Try to pass them. If things happen, maybe midway down the line, you guys got to leave each other and split up, then you do that. Uh, as long as there's are agreed upon. Here at Crank, we always agree upon it. It's like, hey, all right, guys, we're going to start together. We're going to do this, but is it cool if, you know, if someone's really lagging behind that, we're going to split up and we'll keep one coach with a slower group and one coach with a fast group. That's usually the way we do it, so it's always a fun time anyway. All right, guys, so I hope that answers your question. And uh, definitely tune in. If you got any more questions, hit me up. This is Pete from HowToTrainForMudRuns.com. See you guys later.